Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen half a moth? Something that I famously say in my moth breeding videos is Animals aren't factory products, they aren't iPhones And not all of them are going to be perfect Just like how some people are tall and some people are short Some people are healthy, some people are born disabled or with a disease Not much you can do about it it is unfortunate. Uh, usually I don't really show it off on YouTube because I feel like it's it's kind of depressing content in a way to see animals with deformities or health issues. And I want to spread positivity, but it is part of sometimes breeding animals in captivity. And this moth just came out this morning and it seems that on one side it just has atrophied wings. Atrophied means basically, uh, not only did they fail to develop, it looks like they just were reduced, maybe due to a lack of nutrients or early in its development, something just went wrong and it extinguished the, the growth. Maybe the pupa was infected with, I don't know, it could be an infection, a pathogen. But for sure, it's very weird. It's especially weird because the forewing and hindwing on one side are normal. And this poor creature looks very strange now. Poor thing. I kind of feel bad for it. Thankfully it was born in captivity. In nature any predator would probably eat it and kill it instantly. Um, but I'm gonna keep it alive and I'm gonna give it, uh, I guess, a chance to live out its normal life. Maybe not its best life, its best life... Well, maybe it is his best life, if you... If you relativize the situation a little bit. Poor thing. I just wanted to show it off, because it looks very weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. So strange. Now you've seen half a moth. Uh, just in case you were wondering, this is what a healthy individual looks like. It's an absolutely beautiful species. This is called the giant tropical owl moth, also known as Brahmaea hearsay. Um, it's a species from tropical Asia, but sometimes people like to breed them in captivity in the pet trade. They're actually very easy to breed and it's very fun. I recommend it for everyone, it's a great hobby. And I've literally been breeding dozens of these guys. Uh, but yeah, the freaky one just came out this morning and I just just felt like I had to show that off Because it was so weird so weird Thank you guys for watching and if you are interested in learning about moths and butterflies subscribe to my channel I have over 2,000 free to watch moth videos and I made them all myself. No artificial intelligence, no fakery, no photoshopping, just real animals in high definition, including some of the rarest and craziest species in the world. See you in the next one.